Nerd Reactor, roll out. Hey, good to, good to meet you. Pleasure hey, to be here. Yeah, and oh, I like the uh, that little bust up with the statue behind you, Christian. Yes. Oh, cool. Nazo, do you have anything like that behind you? No, I don't. I've got this brick wall. That's about it. That's all that I've got. <laughs> I think that's very fitting of your character. Just like a just wall. You can't just move past it. I like that. I like yeah. that. He's a, he's a wall. Like, I like that. He's the big man, I guess. You know, yeah. so. And so with Sweet Tooth, how did the project just come by? Is it, it came by on your lap? Do you guys audition? How did it start out? So like, like usual, it starts out with an audition, right? You go into the room or you do a self tape and you know, you wait for a response. And um, if you get a call back, which means um, they like you from the audition, then you will audition with the callback. And then I did the callback. And then when I figured out that I got the job, I was so excited. I went straight to researching about all all about how deers move and they react and everything about deers. And I did parkour training for the show because deers have to run and jump really fast all the time. And yeah, that's that's basically about how the process went. Then we flew to New Zealand, which was really fun. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had to. I'm. I had to kind of fight for the role. I had to audition as as. Uh, you know, I know there were a lot of people that really loved the character of, of Tommy and wanted to play it. And, you know, I just did the best I could to do my research into this, into the character and, and portray my version of what I believe Tommy Jeppard was. And, you know, Robert Downey Jr., the casting director, the director, they bought what I was selling. And, and here I am playing Tommy Jeppard today. Did you have to take any parkour lessons as well? No, 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 no. <laughs> I had to... <laughs> <laughs> I had to do fight lessons though, because uh, I don't know if you saw the first episode in which I oh, yeah. do that big fight scene. I had to do that all by myself, which was, uh, I, you know, no stunt, no stunt uh, double in that scene. Um, so that was that was pretty tough. But Christian is very physical in the show, very very physical. And, and you know, after after you know, I think it was six months of lockdown, not really much physical exercise. That fight scene was about all I could handle. <laughs> And I get yeah for for both of you in terms of pre preparing for the role. Do you did you look at the comics or you try to do your own thing? Um. So I was never really into comic books or graphic novels before I booked Sweet Tooth, but mm -hmm. when I got it, I was researching about the comic books, and then I was like, wait, I just realized that I can order the comic books, so I ordered like all three of them, and then I read them over and over and over and over again, millions of times. <laughs> And now I'm a pretty big fan of comic books and graphic novels. And um, I also researched how deers move and react, like I said before. Um, yeah, so I prepared for the role. Sweet. Tooth. <laughs> and counsel for you too. <laughs> I like that. I like what you did. <laughs> the, um, how did I prepare for the role? Yeah. Like, like for me, I, I I just do that very boring, classically trained actor thing of whatever people say about the character, I write it down. Whatever the character says about himself, I write it down. I kind of build my, um, from his backstory, I take that he was a physical athlete and that I, I start to imagine him as, from, from the comic books, I get this kind of, um, cowboy western old kind of loner kind of feeling and and i you know he's an african-american because i'm playing him and and he's, he's he literally comes together as what i present on screen and all i can say is i hope you enjoy it <laughs> no I've, I've been enjoying it personally uh that's good oh what was the thing that made you want to join this project was it the the universe like the whole post-apocalyptic future etc the deer hybrids um what made me really want to do this project is a the fact that this is such a unique role and project like there's a project about a virus with hybrid which is a part human part animal and i also really wanted to do this project because i got i would have been able to be a deer and i would have been able to go to new zealand and 
I would have been able to meet new people like Nanzo, for example. Mm. And that's that's what really caught my eye into doing sweet tea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for me, I really felt like it was the script and the way it was written. The first episode just flowed off the page. As soon as you read it, it was just like, bam. And it just hit me as like, wow. I'm not in the first episode that much, but um, I sat down with the director and he went through the kind of character arc of what would be expected of Jeopard. And I really was, a, I'm like, I've got to play this character, you know? And then you've got the added bonus of Warner Brothers, Netflix, um, and Sir Robert Downey, not that he's a, I don't think he's a knight, but Robert Downey Jr. is helming the project. His wife, lovely wife, Susan Downey, and Team Downey are, are at the helm. Our amazing director, Jim Mickle. Those are all incredible reasons to, to be involved in this production. And not only did I want to, but I feel honoured that I got the chance to be. And to work with Christian as well. This, yeah. this, this little fellow is quite special. <laughs> uh so there, there are certain parts where you got really excited, especially when uh, you mentioned Robert Downey, like that little, I think that lit up your eyes. Uh, was, yeah. do you ever get just super excited for certain people you meet uh, in the industry? Do you? I mean, I, to me, I don't. I, I do. <laughs> I tend not to. I tend not to. I tend to be like very, like, they are just human beings just like me and we can meet and I can be like, oh, I know something you've done. But Robert Downey Jr., having Iron Man's phone number in your phone is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. 